Hindi importante ang honesty sa election campaign dahil lahat naman daw ng kandidato ay sinungaling. Walang isang kandidato dyan na hindi nagsisinungaling kaya hindi dapat nagiging issue ang honesty ngayon. Lahat sila sinungaling. Lahat ng tao sa mundong ito sinungaling. What was your first reaction when you saw this bit? Maybe depending on your political views, you either agree with her or you don't. Or the third option is you just don't care. She later claimed that she was doing the opposition a favor by, and I quote, digging them out of their own holes. Now, I can go into the nitty gritty of all this political mess and election thing, but I have a bigger point than that. So bear with me. The thing is, this isn't actually supposed to be a partisan issue. In a later interview, she corrected this, well, corrected depending on how you look at it, but only after being called out by the former ombudsman. Ang hindi naman ang iniisip ko ang importante. Ang, ini, ang importante is ano yung required ng batas? Ano ba sinabi ng batas? For a senator, able to read and write natural words, it doesn't, does it say na dapat good moral character yung tao? Does it say that the person is not honest? Although we electionists are that there was correct in mentioning the qualifications for senator in the Republic, specifically Article 6, Section 3 of the 1987 Constitution, which states, No person shall be a senator unless he is a natural-born citizen of the Philippines and on the day of the election is at least 35 years of age, able to read and write, a registered voter, and a resident of the Philippines for not less than two years immediately preceding the day of the election. What she failed to mention, however, is that the position she's vying for is for the Senate. It's a public office, and under the same constitution, Section 27 of Article 2, the Declaration of Principles of State Policies, it states that the state shall maintain honesty and integrity in public service and take positive and effective measures against graft and corruption. Section 1 of Article 11, Accountability of Public Officers, also states, Public office is a public trust. Public officers and employees must at all times be accountable for the people, serve them with utmost responsibility, integrity, loyalty, and efficiency, act with patriotism and justice, and lead modest lives. Needless to say, serve them with utmost responsibility, integrity, loyalty, and efficiency would require one to be honest. To remain committed to the truth at all times. Never never lie. Maintaining honesty and integrity of public servants and public officials is indeed enshrined in our constitution. It's the law of the land, as it should be. It's very well said, in fact, in the words, public office is a public trust, reaffirming again the ideals that we are a government of the people, by the people, and for the people as with any democracy. We can go on and on about the foundations of democracy and the theories of government, but that's a whole series all on its own. Let's zoom out a little bit. This administration has been swarmed with issues about social justice, fascism, and outright fake news, the likes of which arguably hasn't been seen since the Marcus era. But this little nugget of statement from presidential daughter might just have given light to this. According to a recent survey by SWS released this March 2019 of the traits and characteristics people want in a senator, the top reigning answer is will not be corrupt, just second to helps or has concern for the poor. Not for a lack of trying, but our team has spent considerable hours looking for surveys like this that are on the up and up but came out empty. Nevertheless, we can infer that for an election this close, people are obviously still concerned about corruption. Now, I'm not here to say that these aren't unfounded, given that we are still recovering from the infamous pork barrel scandal back in 2013, but are we really asking the right questions of a legislator? Fun fact, look at this table. See what's at the bottom there? Hashtag just saying. Anyways, according to Transparency International, the country has actually been reeling back from its recent downfall in corruption from the start of the current president's term, possibly caused by the PDAF scam. Since taking office in 2016, the country has finally seen a decline or a bounce back from the corruption index, signaling a decrease in the corruption of the country.
An article from Forbes posted on February 2, 2019 even stated that for 2019, the Philippines currently now occupies the 78th position. Side note, I couldn't find any verifiable source to this as of this writing because even looking at the Transparency International website, I still couldn't find the article. So right now, if that were true that the country is surely bouncing back from being corrupt, is will not be corrupt really the best thing to ask of future public office holders? Since corruption is at a gradual decline, don't you think it's time to focus on other things? Well, not really. Although I could not verify the previously mentioned article from Forbes, the headline did make sense. Duterte's Philippines is getting less corrupt, but in the wrong way. You see, aside from having a lower corruption index, conversely, our international ratings of trust have gone down. The Philippines having been labeled one of the most dangerous countries for media personnel to work in. Press freedom, kayo yung number one magnanakaw ayaw niyo sa uli yung propiedad, press freedom. Aren't you guys getting tired of this? And due to also a recent spike in human rights abuses. In fact, the country is being currently investigated by the International Criminal Court, which it claims it's not even and wasn't a member of, for crimes against humanity. The preliminary examination of the situation in the Philippines will analyze crimes allegedly committed in this state party since at least the 1st of July 2016 in the context of the war on drugs campaign launched by the government of the Philippines. It is alleged that many of the reported incidents involved extrajudicial killings in the course of police anti-drug operations. You see, herein lies the problem. Circling back to a confidence hire that they're, they're saying that Hindi. Dapat nagiging issue ang honesty ngayon. Lahat sila sinungaling. Lahat ng tao sa mundong ito sinungaling. This is wrong. For without honest public officials comes corruption. A lack of integrity and everything else. Honesty is the glue that holds the values important to public office together. From covering up the truth to outright lying in our faces, this administration has proven time and again its negligence for honesty, integrity, and some may say, a lack of moral authority. The problem is that we're not thinking of the right questions to ask. We're not asking for the right things. The foundation of every democracy, of every public office, is honesty. I'm not here to preach, although it may seem like it, but I'll let the numbers speak. There's this report that came out from Rand International just before President Trump was elected into office about a concept of firehouse propaganda technique. A rapid-fire succession of lies with no regards for the truth being used via the media and other means to cloud your perceptions of politicians and the state of the nation. I'll put the link to the whole article and a great video by Vox Media about it, but basically, what it's saying is that people are more likely to believe in lies if everyone's talking about it. And it's proven to be very effective. It worked with Russia's Putin, it's working with the US's Trump, and it's working in the Philippines the third day. While legitimate news organizations are busy fact-checking everything, all the public hears from them is a cry in defense. It won't matter. It just creates more buzz which strengthens the lie. Now, I'm not saying that honesty will solve all the country's problems, but it is in the Constitution for a reason. The corruption may be declining, but to whose expense? Is it really real? Or just like with previous trends, we're just waiting and due for another bombshell to tip the scales back to their record high rankings. The elections are coming up. Think about it. Are you asking for the right things from your choices, from your candidates? Be skeptical of your choices. Question everything. Demand for honesty in our public officials, left or right. Hi, welcome to this new channel by the Clever Light Media Group where we host a wide array of topics from science to arts to political ideologies and theories of government. Some will be hosted by me and we will have surprise guests and hosts too in the coming episodes. Because why not? The world needs more smart people. 
there is a new series for the channel appropriately named Social Justice Warrior. The whole series will be hosted by me because in all essence, I am a social justice warrior. In this series, I will explore topics relating to social justice in and out of the Philippines and I promise to stick by the credo. This will not be a partisan channel. Everything will be supported by facts to the best of my research and abilities. Needless to say, I'm not a lawyer, a scientist, or anything, but I'm good at researching if I say so myself. Fun fact, while researching this episode, I came across an article by PNA, the Philippine News Agency, a government institution for bringing out news. The news came out last February. It says, Malacanang on Wednesday reiterated that President Rodrigo R. Duterte's commitment to combat corruption as the Philippines received its best score in the corruption index in five years. Clearly, that's true. I mean, look at this. Anyways, if I were to ask, what are you looking for in your senatorial bets or in anyone holding a public office? Leave it in the comments down below and I'll sure to read them and check them. Like and subscribe to see more of our videos and we appreciate that, that helps us a lot. And just another side note before we move on, I will always encourage intelligent and lively debate in the comment section but please let's be professionals let's be humans let's be decent people here um if i see any ad hominem attacks i'll be sure to remove them or one of my team will be sure to remove them so yeah, you know, just putting it out there 